What lay ahead of our heroes was unknown. They had not seen another man, woman or child in ages. The undead had transformed everything. They were now surrounded by evil. But our heroes had to press on. They were in search of the tomb. The wizard was sure that it would belong to the founder of the Astral Academy, one of the three guardians. If they could find his tomb, perhaps they would find a spell to get them out of the trine. Where are we? We are beneath the Astral Academy. No one has been here for decades. Aha! My sword shall lead the way! <laughs> Follow me! Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Welcome back to Try and Enchanted Edition. This is level 3, Water Coat Catacombs. And uh, we're hopefully going to get all of the experience potions in the level. There are 20 that we need to find. And there's also two secret chests. Um, one of them has a, a cool item, and I think one of them has a special ability for the knight as well. So that's going to be pretty cool. I'm just going to put a crate on those spikes there, just in case we do get uh, spiked with that a little bit later on. As you can see, there are a couple of experience potions uh, up there on that ledge, so I'm just going to use the... Um, I'll try, them, try and knock them off. First of all, no, I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> um, let's use the thief instead, and we'll have to do that little swing around to swing just on top of the ledge. I'll try that again. And there we go. Okay, we got it. Beautiful. Uh, let's continue on. So we've already got, I think, four, four or five potions. Um, there's only 20 in this level, so um, it's a, I think it's a bit of a shorter level than some of the other ones, but uh, it's still, still pretty fun to play. Some interesting puzzles as well. There's this uh, grate here that we need to open up. Uh, so we need to head up first uh, before we can take that one, uh, open that one up, I should say. Uh, this part here is a little bit tricky as well. We've got the spikes to the left, fireballs coming down from the top, and we've got the experience potion on the top right. Um, so the knight comes in pretty handy here for just getting across without getting burnt to a crisp with these fireballs. And we're also going to use the wizard um, to make a few boxes here, just to make it easier to jump up. There's probably uh, multiple solutions to this puzzle. Uh, quite often there are a number of ways that you can actually solve the puzzle, but... Um, uh, actually, one thing I did realize was that all of my characters can level up. I thought when I leveled up, only one character could level up at a time. Um, but apparently, every every character, every hero can level up as well. So I'm going to level up the other guys, uh, the wizard and the knight. Now, the wizard should be able to use two boxes now instead of one. So that's going to come in, come in uh, pretty handy here. Beautiful, we have the potion, fantastic. Oops. Let's try that again. I'm really loving this game, it's such a beautiful game, such a pretty game. Um, looking forward to to getting into Trine 2, and uh, Trine 3 has just come out as well, so definitely want to, uh, to give that game a go. Now as you see, uh, the grate down below has opened up. I did put this box on the pressure plate. Um, I don't think anything else is up here though, so we can head down now. And there's a potion over there to the to the right. We're just going to use the wizard to flip up that board. Wizards can drag these uh, these platforms up and down fairly easily, which is good. Uh, I'm just going to use the knight to try and take out this uh, skeleton here. There we go. 
Um, now there is a um, a potion just straight up. I'm just going to use this crate just so that when I open this uh, platform there, it's just going to stay flat. Um, there is something more above here, so we're going to continue uh, heading up before we head across to the right. Some of these um, puzzles are easier to solve with multiplayer. Um, let's have a look in this chest first of all. We have the Amulet of Mana Gain. The Amulet of Mana Gain restores mana for the bearer, but only when they are not active. One point of mana is restored for every monster killed. Um, I guess that's only handy if the wizard is not active and you are killing monsters. So it's not, not that powerful, uh, that amulet, but uh, yeah, we'll give it to the wizard anyway. If you are playing multiplayer, um, all of your characters can actually have uh, all of these um, amulets and items, so it does make it a little bit easier. You can beef them up uh, a little bit quicker. And uh, the wizard can also make the other creatures fly, which is handy. Here we go, we've got uh, a big battle here. So I'm going to use the knight and just block his attacks. Now you can't damage this guy unless you hit him in the face. So we need to hit him in the face. I'm going to block block attack. So when he bends down, I'm going to hit him in the face. There we go. We're doing pretty well. Almost killed him. I think just one more hit. There we go. We got him. Whew. It's the first big boss of the game and uh, we took him out fairly easily with the knight. Let's just grab the checkpoint and we have another chest as well. I'm just going to take out this skeleton uh, across the other side. First of all, before we open the chest, let's have a look and see what we have inside. Strength of the Titans skill for knight. Um, this skill is pretty cool. It allows the knight to use his shield to pick up objects and then throw them. Um, and he throws them pretty fast as well. So it could be a, a devastating attack by itself. Um, so you basically bring out the shield, right click and then you press F if you're using the keyboard to pick it up and press F again. Uh, hang on a second. Press F to pick it up. Uh, you can you can move it around if you move it slowly and press F again to fire it. There you go. See that's massive. <laughs> that's a massive throw. Um, I'm going to use the wizard here to grab this uh, experience potion and we've got another experience potion up to the top over there and it's kind of almost impossible to grab in single player. Multiplayer, the wizard can just uh, fly one of the other characters up there. Um, let's grab the potion down the bottom first of all. Let me stop these fireballs. There we go. Um, now to actually get up to get this potion way up there, uh, you need to be pretty determined. <laughs> We're going to use um, just a lot of these crates uh, to build a little tower up there. The thief can't actually hang on to any of those poles uh, because they're not made of wood. So we do need to make a little tower up and kind of just balance it. And then carefully climb up and jump across. to grab this potion. Just need to get that uh, the box out of the way. Actually, I can use it as a weight. Might help a little bit. And uh, we can use the thief to break this rope here. And drop the next potion there as well. There's another potion up there, which we need to remember is there. Just missed that one. Uh, let's try that again. There we go.
Okay, so we are going to have to use uh, a few boxes to get past this section safely. We do want to grab that uh, experience potion over there, so I'm just going to make a few boxes down here over these spikes. Uh, we don't have the planks yet. Um, the wizard will learn how to, to make planks a little bit later on in the game, but at the moment he can only do boxes. So we're just going to have to do the best we can. We got axes, we got flying axes. <laughs> and uh, we've got a, quite a few skeletons uh, in this room that we need to deal with as well. Oh gosh, no. My knight is almost dead as well, so I'm just going to block. Oh gosh, these skeletons here. And I'll hopefully find a mana potion. Hopefully the uh, the checkpoint isn't too far away. There we go. We took him out. There's one more uh, just standing up there. Um, I might actually knock him off <laughs> with the wizard. <laughs> it's always a, a handy tactic. There we go. Beautiful. We got him. Now the thief could uh, easily get up there, but he's dead at the moment. Well, she's dead at the moment, I should say. Uh, there is the checkpoint just to the right. Uh, we do have that skeleton to deal with, though. So I'm going to use the skeleton, uh, the the wizard's box again, and uh, just see if I can knock him, take him out. I don't think I've killed him now. I think I just knocked him back. But uh, at least he can't see us anyway. Uh, let me try with the knight. I always feel really unco when I'm using the wizard. <laughs> so let's use the knight to jump up and take out this skeleton as well and bring back oh bring back the the, the thief. Beautiful, we just picked up another couple of experience potions there, so let's continue on. I think that is uh, getting close to about two thirds of the way through this level, I think. A few more skeletons to deal with, but uh, it's not... It's not too bad. There we go. So I'm just going to use the wizard to pull this this down and now we do have a few spiky balls to deal with Uh, now I think when I press that pressure plate, the spiky balls are going to fall down. Um, okay, not that one. The next one. There we go. Yeah, there's a few more spiky balls that we need to to bring out of out of our path. So I'll just uh, throw them behind me. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> just throw them behind me. Uh, it's not too. They're not too bad to deal with. Uh, a few more skeletons here to deal with as well. Uh, with the checkpoint there, it's not too bad. Whenever you go past the checkpoint, you will actually uh, heal your characters up to half health. So you're kind of you're almost invincible, really, when you're right next to a checkpoint. There we go. We got it. Beautiful. Just to make this jump a little bit easier, I'm going to move the crate across. 
And I'm going to use the wizard's boxes as well, just to impale them on these spikes. That's a bit low. Um, there we go. Perfect. Um, now I'm going to need another box uh, for the, these other spikes here as well. So let's just do that. And we've got a spider over there. Take care of him, first of all. And uh, we have another secret here. We have found the Mana Vial. The Mana Vial uh, automatic, automatically restores 30% of mana for the character when the mana of the character is used up and it's reloaded when you do pass a checkpoint. Um, I don't really use that much mana at the moment. Uh, maybe in the future I'll be using more mana, but at the moment it's not really a big deal. Okay, once again, we're going to use the Thief just to climb up uh, on this ledge and grab that experience potion. Beautiful. Um, trying to get across here safely is pretty difficult as well. Uh, we're going to just grab a few of these boxes. And uh, I'll show you why in a second. I do want to use one of them for a weight, um, and also one of them I'm going to put under the last platform here, so it doesn't drop too far down to the ground. As you can see, the third platform from the left, uh, right above it, there is an experience potion. We want the knight to get across there to bash those boards up the top, um, so we need the platform to be high enough so that he can actually jump up and, and grab that potion. Um, let's give this... Oh. I actually think that's a little bit too high. Let's bring the third platform down a bit. I'm actually going to put another box under here. Okay, that should be good. We'll give it a go and see what happens. Let's put the weight there. So as you can see, the first two platforms are connected and the third and fourth platform platforms are connected as well. I'm going to jump on the first one, the, uh, the second one moves up. I'm going to jump on the third one, the fourth one moves up. Um, it's just not high enough. We're going to have to lower the, the fourth one. There we go. Perfect. Look that! It must be the tomb! Yes, you are correct. This is the tomb of the Guardian. It has inscriptions all over it. 